Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は冷凍保存してある食材をなるべく使ってサバカレーを作ります。First, let's saute the bell peppers since they are relatively firm. Add about a half tablespoon of olive oil and saute the green and red bell peppers stored in the freezer. Saute on high heat. We are using some frozen ingredients today, but of course, you can also use non frozen ingredients. Lightly season with salt. We are using a small pan since this is only for two people. Stir fry until lightly browned, but do not move the bell pepper too much. Freezing ingredients in small portions while they are still fresh is convenient because you can use them right away without thawing. Also, only the necessary amount can be used up without waste. Remove and place it onto a tray. Next, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Add a chopped onion. This is plenty of onion, isn't it? Saute on high heat. Toast to coat with the oil all over. And distribute the onion evenly. When the onion around the edges of the pan begins to brown, flip the center slightly to see how well it has browned. If the color is too light, flatten the onion again. When it browns thoroughly, mix the onion from the bottom. Flatten the onion and brown it again. Repeat this process until it reaches this level of color. Then, turn off the heat and move the onion to the other side. Fill the pan and add a half tablespoon of olive oil. Add a cumin seeds and one third of the dried red chili pepper. The pan should still be hot, so small bubbles should form. When it begins to grow fragrant, move the pan to a normal position and combine with the onion. Add the chopped garlic and ginger root and mix. Slice the garlic and ginger before freezing so that they will semi thaw quickly and are easy to chop into pieces. Turn on the burner and reduce the heat to low. Stir and saute on low heat until aromatic. Mmm, it smells so good. Now, add the curry powder. Keep the heat low the whole time because it burns easily. Stir fry for about one minute until combined. In general, when vegetables are fully thawed, the water will come out and they will become soggy, so it is best to use them half thawed or frozen. The curry mixture already looks delicious. Place the packaged boiled tomato in the center. Then turn up the heat to high. Chef cut up the packaged boiled whole tomatoes with kitchen scissors, divide them into 100 gram portions, and store them in the freezer. We are using one portion, 100 grams of the frozen tomatoes. t h o w the tomato and combine the mixture. When the tomato is mixed in, add honey and salt. Keep the heat on high since the tomato was cold. Add the sauteed bell peppers and distribute.
This is our favorite packaged boiled mackerel, which we always use. Add the mackerel along with the broth as it is full of umami flavor and nutrients dissolve into the broth. You might want to avoid breaking the mackerel into small pieces. Instead, split it along the backbone to give it presence. The packaged fish made from large mackerel is fatty and delicious. Cook for 2-3 to three minutes and test the curry. Even those who don't like mackerel won't taste any fishy flavor at all because of the curry powder. If it is too light, adjust the taste with salt and pepper. Now it is ready. Let's make the poached egg for the topping. Add 1 tablespoon of vinegar to the hot water and mix lightly with the kitchen chopsticks. When it begins to simmer, gently place the eggs one at a time into boiling water. The vinegar helps to prevent the egg white from scattering in the hot water. Roll the eggs gently. The amount of water in the pot should be just enough to cover the eggs. This pot contains about 750 milliliters of hot water. After about 30 seconds of rolling, when the egg yolks have settled in the center, turn off the heat. Cover with a lid and let it sit for about two and a half minutes. Then open the lid and gently press the egg to see how firm it is. If it is still too soft, cover and let it sit for about 20 seconds at a time. Remove and place the poached eggs onto a paper towel. The eggs break easily, so lift them up gently. Let's serve the curry. Arrange the mackerel curry around the hot steamed rice. Green peppers and red bell peppers are nutritious and colorful and look delicious, so we recommend using them. For kids, you can make it milder and tastier by leaving out the red chili pepper, using a little less curry powder, and adding coconut milk. If you don't have coconut milk, you can use regular milk. Place the poached egg on top. You can also use onsen, tamago, or hot spring eggs instead of the poached eggs. Split the poached egg, cover the curry with the egg yolk, and enjoy. Canned mackerel is very popular in Japan and is often featured on TV. They are delicious, nutritious, and come in many varieties. <laughs> I wonder why this dish makes me feel so cheerful. Good luck in the kitchen!新宿お団子だけでなくたくさんの種類の和菓子がショーウィンドウにきれいに並んでいます。美味しそうな和菓子がたくさんあって気になりますね。でも今日は初めてなのでまずお団子をいただかないといけませんね。まっすぐ奥に進む
こちらの喫茶室入り口にある大きな鎌倉堀は江戸時代の新宿お祝いの地でお団子を作っている様子を描いたものです昭和30年に作られていてこれを見ることができただけでも来たかいがありました店内は今風のカフェのようなおしゃれな作りで落ち着いた雰囲気です温かい緑茶を飲んでお団子が来るの待ってますお目当ての期間限定のお団子は販売終了していたので店員さんに見た目が綺麗で美味しいお団子を3つ教えていただきましたまず抹茶あんのお団子をいただきます白あんにお抹茶が練り込まれていて思った通りの美味しいお団子です愛知県の西尾の抹茶を使用しているそうですこちらが定番のみたらし団子ですお団子の生地が柔らかくてよく伸びるので驚きました上新粉だけですとこんなに伸びないですが水分の量を工夫することによってこの柔らかさを実現しているらしいですこちらは海苔七味です焼き団子に醤油を塗って七味を振りかけ海苔でくるんだものです甘い団子と香ばしい醤油味の団子を交互に食べるとお互いに引き立て合ってとっても美味しかったのでおすすめですよお団子はとっても柔らかです三つの味全部美味しかったです新宿屋の気分あって疲れたらぜひ寄ってみてくださいおすすめですよ美味しかったですお店は都営新宿線の新宿三丁目駅 C1 出口を降りてすぐだからとっても便利ですよ Thank you so much for watching until the end. Please consider supporting our channel via YouTube Super Thanks. Your subscriptions and likes are much appreciated. Take care, everyone. See you.